Anglers in search of giant pike in the most northern reaches of Canada are faced with a relatively short season. Ice out occurs in early June, and by late August, the season is fast coming to a close. Of course, in order to catch giant fish, you have to find them. So we sent two in fisherman teams into the field, one just after ice out, the other just before the season's end, to highlight prime pike habitat during these seasonal transitions. <laughs> Look at that. There we go, a couple of nice early season pike, ice off pike, man. Great Can't beat it. Fish. In this shallow bay, the fish are just piled in here. We're seeing one after another sight fishing. And boy, what a blast. Oh, that's blast. awesome. Look at these, great looking fish. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Awesome. Boy, this is this is such a neat situation. It's so unique to pike fishing to be out here this early and time it this right. And that's critical. You can get on some, some fishing that is just absolutely fantastic. You bet. These Man. pike are laid up in here in these shallows. Yep. It's fresh ice out and yeah. they're ready to rock. Got him! Got him? Yeah. I not bad fish. I toned down the color. I was with that fire tiger and, toned, and they were a little tentative on it. And went to the natural, uh, this one's a pike color. And, yeah. Uh, he had to work him a little bit, but he finally committed. Thick fish, eh? Yeah, nice one. Oh. Boy, nice pike, Brandon, yeah. huh? <laughs> oh, there we go. Pike. That is a nice huh? one. Boy, this early season fishing has just been a blast. It is awesome. You know, sighting shallow fish. You know, a lot of different lures have been working. It's been really cool. And of course, this isn't going to last long. Sooner or later, these fish are going to transition out in some of the deeper cabbage areas and deeper structural areas. But uh, man, when you have this window like this early and you time it right, fantastic fishing, definitely. Yes, sir. Unbelievable. Awesome. Very cool. Pretty. That's how the season begins. Oh. Now, let's take a look at how it progresses. Oh! oh. He's in those leaves. Yes, he yeah. is. That is awesome. So big. Oh, the entire bait on the outside of the I know. I don't like that. that. Oh, nice. Yes. nice. <laughs> oh man. Woo. That is a big fish. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that head. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Wow. What a beautiful bite. <laughs> Absolutely. Unbelievable. Definitely not the same fish to catch in the springtime up here. These no. fish are well fed, super fat, hanging out in that deep water eating a different forage. Put on a show, too. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> These are strong fish. Yes. Beautiful. All right, let's get it back and get the uh, throw back in there. Get another one. Nicely done. You know, as much as I love spring pike fishing, when you're sight fishing, the fall fishing produces the biggest fish of the year. And the flies and the lures that we're using are a little bit different too. While smaller flies and baits and soft plastics work really well when the fish are in shallow water, big aggressive hard baits like the Sabeel Stick Shad and big aggressive streamers, typically fished on weighted lines. And not only the lures and presentations are different, but the locations are too. Andrew, talk a little bit about your favorite pike spots in the fall. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, the days are getting shorter and the water temps are dropping and those fish are starting to think winter time and so they're moving into these deeper structures, uh, rock and particularly deep weeds, like we're catching them in here. There's a fish. Ooh. Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Looks good. Looks real good. <laughs> Ooh. Best fight we've had today. This is yeah. what I'm like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I think we are definitely in some cabbage here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Oh. Oh, back down. There we go. There, she's coming out. <laughs> Mouth full of cabbage. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a real acrobat. Now she knows she's hooked. There we go. Beauty. We got her. 
There you you go. know, the way that fish was fighting, I thought it was a lot bigger than that. Yeah, this thing fought like a champ. Absolutely. Good stuff. And, you know, not as big as Christian's been catching on the conventional tackle, but you still can catch them on flies this time of year. Definitely. I love casting a floating line. I, I'm not a fan of the, the sink tip because uh, it's not as enjoyable, but it really is required when the fish are holding this deep. Yeah, when they're sitting in the deep weeds, sometimes going down to the fish with that sinking line makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, and you can still use the same flies that you would on the floating line, let the density of the line kind of take it down to the right level. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was an awesome hit. That was just tearing through the weeds down there. Oh, watch that fly line. Here he comes. Right here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, big girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Buddy. Wow. I think that's gonna make the mark and then some, huh? Good grief. <laughs> right on. Awesome. Oh, that's a big nice fish. Grab the net. That's a big fish. Oh, come here, big girl. Oh! <laughs> what a dandy fish. There's and another giant. That is exactly what I love about fishing this time of year. These aren't the same fish you're catching in the spring. No. no. Early season, you get great numbers, but these fish are as big as they're going to get yeah. right now. These early fall fish in Utica, they're eating well. They're eating their tulabies now, putting on tons of weight. It's a beauty. Ah, that is awesome. Good stuff. A little bit heavier than they are in June. Yeah, just yeah. a bit. <laughs>